Hey everybody, it's Claire Nicole of She's Crafty 2. We are back at the clubhouse and I have everything. Oh, Zoe, everybody can see you on the floor. <laughs> She's doing some excavation here, so y'all will see her there. Um, but we are back at the clubhouse. I'm gonna go ahead and comment hi as you're hopping on, say hello. I've got y'all kind of high up because we are going to be working on uh, the basket and the container for the teachers. Yeah, you can help, but you gotta clean that up. Make sure you don't get in front of the fan either because all of that is going to go. So if y'all saw my live about 30 minutes ago, I went shopping through Dollar Tree and found a lot of cool stuff. So now it's time to put all those items together because tomorrow I will be coming on San Antonio Living, which is channel four between 10 and 11 o'clock local time. And I'm not sure if any of the kids are going with me, but usually we have a behind the scenes. Um, last time it was PJ that was uh, going live behind the scenes and I did a summer DIY. So we'll see who goes or doesn't go, but uh, let's get started on some of this stuff. Let me show you what we got here. We got a lot of cool stuff. Look at all of that. Oh my gosh, guys, that's a lot of stuff we're gonna put together. So I went with what y'all told me teachers needed. So now we're going to put it in a basket, okay? All right, guys, so I'm gonna put you low, low, low. Hold on. So we're gonna see this basket get some life, okay? So I've got some tissue paper and I thought I would fill it up with some tissue paper so nothing falls through the basket, right? So everything is from the Dollar Tree. You can also use tissue paper to make real pretty tissue flowers. All right, so I'm just gonna open up a whole bunch of these tissue papers and I'm just gonna kinda line, we're gonna line basket okay Zoe that fan facing me is not gonna work <laughs> glory the fan facing me is not gonna work behind me can you move it the other way or have that other fan come because right behind me it's gonna yeah the one right behind me because everything's flying so we're just putting all kinds of tissue paper in there These are great back to school teacher gift ideas. You wanna bless the teachers. They take care of your kids all day. They clean their snot. They make sure they eat and they learn. Go spend a couple bucks on them and go bless them. Hi, Kara, thank you for hopping on. We are continuing our DIY for our teachers. Back to school summer gifts. We're just putting some tissue paper in here and then we'll see what we can put in here. Lots of cool things that are gonna be going in here. So I already took some pictures of all the stuff that I got so that we'll be able to see it on the screen tomorrow when I come out on local TV. Cara, you should be getting your head wrap any day now. Hey Deborah, if there's any teachers, y'all shout out hashtag superhero. Cause that's what y'all are, hashtag superhero for sure. How about a little pink in here? Okay, I think that's good. What do y'all think? Yes? Okay, let me move the tissue paper out of the way and kind of move y'all back a little bit. All right, here we go. Hopefully that works. Can y'all see that? All right, here we go. Some big items. We've got some tissue or paper towels. Yes, we need some paper towels in there. 
we need some tissue paper. We're going to stuff some tissue paper in there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I got it. Cara, I've got so many more in stock, girl. Okay, tissue paper. I can see this is already going to get really full. Okay, we've got, let's see, composition book. And a notebook. So we're going to put two composition books and a notebook. We'll see how that works in there. Yeah, this is going to get plugged up really, really quickly. Uh, we've got some awards. Certificate of Excellence and Student of the Week is presented to, I hope, hopefully Zoe gets these every week. <laughs> But I know the teachers would appreciate, you know, these little awards that they can give out to their kids. So we're going to put that in there. We'll put it behind here. Maybe we should have it. No, we can't face it outward. See, already the tissue paper is getting pushed down. Okay, here we go. That's awesome, Linda. Okay, let's turn this this way. And then we've got, oh, what else? Um, let's see, some stuff to make the room smell clean. We've got some spray for all those little kids that got the little dirty hands coming in from outside. So we'll put that there, we'll put that up here. And what else do we got? Some antibacterial wipes, yes, yes, yes. And then some hand sanitizer. We'll put that in there as well. I'm trying to make everything fit and stand up nice and neat. Make sure this is closed. That's closed really tight. And then we've got some soap for the restroom. Oh, thank you, Heather. We've got some hand soap for the restroom and hand sanitizer. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to put some pencils in here, some cool pencils, and some erasers, some uh, pencil top erasers. So we'll put that in there. What do y'all think? Wouldn't y'all love to get this basket? I sure would if I was a teacher. And then we have some cool uh, pencil pockets, okay, or pouches. So we'll put two of those in there. Yes, Andrea, I am. So I'm going to go with this basket already and then, of course, have some supplies out on the table or uh, take everything out and let the um, host go ahead and put stuff in there. Okay, so I will take a picture of this and uh, give it to the producer so they can show it on TV as we're putting it together. We've got some pencil sharpeners. Y'all said that they needed some red, some red correcting pens. So we'll put some of those in there as well. And here's the pencil sharpeners. Here we go, here we go. Let's see what else. Some permanent mark or dry erase markers. Hi, Leslie. So some of these things we're gonna put into water bottles, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side. So as you can see, we already have a lot of cool stuff here. Hi, Cousin Eddie, or is that Uncle Eddie? <laughs> so we're putting some DIY teacher gifts together, all right? Okay, so Remember I told you we got some water bottles? So I'm gonna open these up. Oh look, I'm gonna put some markers in here too. I'm gonna to open these up and I am gonna put some pencils and pens in here and then we're gonna decorate these. Let me get some scissors. So did y'all count how many items that was? Y'all invest $20 and it goes a long way and it's a blessing to your teacher and the kids in the classroom, right? So, here's some pens. Ta-da! Let's 
some pencils. Ta-da! So it acts as a gift of pencils and pens, but then they can take all of these out and they've got their own water bottle here. Oh, guys, you can't forget the massager for the teachers. While the kids are at recess, the teacher that has the, mus the massagers are gonna be the popular ones because all the teachers are gonna wanna hang out in their room and be like, uh, can you massage me? Like, I know you have, you have magic in that massager. So I'm gonna put this in here too. I'm so weird. Okay, let's see, what else can we put in there? We can put some more pencils, why not? Oh wait, we can put some glue sticks. <clears throat> <clears throat> put some glue sticks in here kids always need glue sticks put some highlighters whoop 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 here we'll put some highlighters in there alright so there's that now we are going to put some scrap fabric and we're gonna decorate that. Oh, you know what I should have done? Uh, hold on, hold on. This is me getting a little fancy. I think I'm gonna add some of this stuff in there. What do you think? Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's take all this out, you guys. Just make it look even more like a little fancy gift. That you went the extra mile. Okay, let's. Grace is going to be like, Mom, I just swept. I just swept. <laughs> so we'll put some of this in there. How are y'all liking this? Cool ideas, huh? If y'all want to uh, share this video, go ahead and share it. It will give ideas to a lot of people that can bless their teachers. Or a teacher will see it and be like, please, somebody bless me. Look at this person doing these cool ideas. Y'all have no idea how much we need this. And... Uh, I'm tired of choosing between, you know, putting food on my own table and having to buy pens and pencils for the whole class. All right, here we go, here we go. So look how pretty that looks. Isn't that cute, just adding that extra? Okay, so we'll just add the highlighters in. Ta-da! Okay, here we go. Ooh, y'all making a mess with that. Put some... Oops, okay, here we go. You don't want to put too, too much because then it's not going to fit. Okay, let's put our pins in here. Let me know what is the coolest teacher gift y'all have ever gotten if y'all are teachers. What is the coolest gift? I saw some real cool Pinterest ideas. One that I really liked was you get an apple and you um, get one of those caramel the caramel um, dip things and you just put the apple on top of the caramel container and you just wrap it up and put a bow I thought that was super cute all right so here's here's this gift guys with highlighters pens um, pencils and glue sticks and we put some little fuzz at the bottom so that it would look nice and decorated now we're gonna close it and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate it with a bow let's see I have my twine here. I got some twine from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Let's see what scrap fabric we can come up with. Look, I got me some here. Let's see. Here's an orange. Here's a bright green. Here's a blue. I think those would be fun. They would appreciate those colors. And here's another black and white. So let's go ahead and wrap that around. I'm going to open up this twine really quickly. Ew, what is that? Okay. Let's cut this up, put this to the side. Ooh, gift cards. Yeah, gift cards are awesome too. 
because they can go get exactly what they need. Hey, I hope that doesn't make a mess. Okay, look how pretty that's gonna look, you guys. That's gonna look super cute. So let me figure a way to get it on here. Maybe we'll do it around the body a bit. <laughs> it's the Dollar Tree, Linda. I think I could wrap it around. Let's see. Yeah, totally just, look guys, how cute is that? Just wrap it around and just tie it like so. Just cut off whatever you don't want. And there we have a cool DIY gift for an awesome teacher. See, and it's got all the cool stuff in it. So you can even put this in the basket or give it separate. So Zoe can take the big basket to her teacher and Zane can take this to his teacher. Okay, so, all right, moving right along, I have another one that's smaller. So this lid pops up and then this lid is one of those twisty ones. So we're gonna put some more in here. So, let's see, we might fill this up with, what can we fill it up with? more pencils see if these fit yes they do hold on let me put some of that pretty stuff in here or you can even put a uh, paper in there crepe paper tissue paper let's put some yellow in here how about we put some yellow? Hi, Sonia, how are you doing? We'll put a little bit of yellow. Okay, that'll do. And then we'll put pencils in here. Super cool. All right, and then maybe, let's see what else do we got. Oh, we've got some pans, some teacher correcting pans or red pans. Put some of those in there. Make sure we can fit those in here. Sonia, we're making some DIY teacher gifts. I'm coming on local TV tomorrow, so they wanted me to do some back to school ideas so I thought you know what I'm gonna do some some of this and this is all from the Dollar Tree you guys and look how cute that is so that was literally three bucks because it was a pack of pencils a pack of pins and then the what do you call this guy the water bottle and then the little crunchy stuff so that's already four dollars okay Yes, these make good gifts for the attendance clerk, for the principal, for the nurse, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Um, okay, okay, okay. We need to decorate this guy, so let's get some more scrap fabric. So, I've got tons of scrap fabric here. I'm going to get my twine. Cut it up. We'll put 
with that teal on the front because we love that teal, right? Obviously. Obviously, Zoe says. And then we're just going to wrap this around a few times. I'm sure, Sonia, you have a ton of scrap fabric, girl. So now we're just going to tie it around. Um, Sharon, I didn't buy the ribbon because I thought I've got a ton of scrap fabric. I'm wasting six bucks on ribbon when I have scrap fabric here. So I did not bring it after all. See, y'all don't forget what was in the basket, right? And there we have our cute little teacher gift. All right, so we've got one, and two so two different sizes cost the same amount of money so invest in a bigger one I guess right okay so I'm going to leave this one for the host tomorrow to fill up with pencils and probably markers and um, let's see what else can she put in here hmm let me see what else you can fit in here. Doo, 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 doo. I'm seeing what else you can fit in here. We'll have her fill it up with pencils and markers. Yeah, she can fill it up with pencils and markers tomorrow and then fill it up with some of this. So it'll give her, you know, a little DIY to do live. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. All right, now, I have this other little gift basket, so we can definitely fill this up with some, let me see, some tissue paper as well. another scented uh, what are these called air freshener beads some more hand sanitizer wipes some more hand wash crayons let's see another crayon in here and then we can put two more of these guys the pencil pouches we'll put these in the back yes these are all cute ideas you guys all cute 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 and what else Maybe some candy, I don't know, nerds. Aren't all teachers nerds to an extent? And then, I don't think this will fit in here, we'll see. This is rulers, so we'll put it in here, see if it fits. Nope, that doesn't fit, okay. So I'm going to take the ruler out and put it in this other basket. And maybe we'll put the markers in here. So now they have crayons and markers. And we'll put the crayons over here, since there's no crayons there. Um, let's see. Do they have hand sanitizer? No, they don't. We'll put a hand sanitizer in here. 
So I think I like that. Let me see if I can fit. Oh, got gotta have your sharpie. Let me see if I can fit any composition books in here and maybe some notebook. Okay, so we could put this in the back. So one composition book and then 200 wide rolled notebook paper. Yes, the Bible study teachers, of course. Okay, so now we're just gonna add a little something something to just make it pop. We'll just put a little bit of sticker on here. These are from the Dollar Tree again. How cute is that? See? Hey, honey. My husband's watching like, uh, what is she right now? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> We're doing some teacher DIY gifts, honey, for tomorrow's San Antonio Living segment. And there we have it, you guys. How cute is that? Just have the kids carry it like that, or you carry it. It's got the handle already, get it from the Dollar Tree. So let's count and see how much this costs. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $15 for a cute back to school DIY summer, a back to school teacher gift, all right? Awesome, so there's one, there's another one. So we've already done, what, three things? in less than 30 minutes, okay? And I will show you all the gifts in just a moment. Now, here's the fun one, the teacher survival kit. This looks like a pill sorter, which it is, but let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, hold on. Let me get a napkin. So I think there's one in here, a seven day pill organizer. Maybe there's two. Nope. So this is good for two weeks. <laughs> okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some candy and we're gonna put some candy in here, you guys. Look at all this candy and we'll fit in there what we need. The kit, you know, the teachers sometimes need a little bit of candy or maybe a kid just kind of needs a little candy to calm them down or something. So look at all these different candy choices we have. We have Starburst, Skittles, Tootsie Roll, Jolly Rancher, uh, my favorite, Hot Tamales. We've got some Dots and we have some M&Ms. Okay, so we're gonna put some of this in there and load up our teachers. And this might be like a little reward system for themselves. Like, okay, I made it to Wednesday. What treat am I getting for Wednesday? Yes, I get some M&Ms, whoopie dee doo dah. So I'm gonna open all these up. Hopefully I don't break it. it's a.m. <laughs> oh wait okay a.m. and p.m. okay they need some candy in the morning some in the afternoon thanks for catching that all right so let's go ahead and open up some of these candies <laughs> that would be enough to tease me who would like to get one of these little teacher survival kits with candy? I know I would. I love candy. 
All right, so we're gonna pour a little bit of candy in here. So how about Friday in the morning, they get some M&Ms. Yum, 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 some M&Ms, look at that. Woohoo! Let me zoom in so y'all can see a little bit better. Okay, and then maybe on a Tuesday, when the kids get out of school, they can treat themselves to some afternoon M&M's. So let's close that up. Maybe we'll just give them a little extra. Send some teachers home, hyper to their own kids. All right, so we've got some M&M's out of the way. Tracy, you love this. Are you thinking about doing this? Do you have any kids in school right now? Or are you a teacher? So now we're gonna put some Jolly Ranchers. Hopefully these have the wrappers on them. Yes, they do. All right. Okay, so maybe on a Monday we'll reward them with a few little Jolly Ranchers. Let's see if we can fit three in there. Come on, I know we could do it. Get in there. The teacher deserves three in the morning. And it fits. Yay! They're getting Jolly Ranchers on Monday morning. And then on Friday afternoon, they'll get Jolly Ranchers. If y'all been watching since the beginning, let me know what y'all's favorite part of these are. The teacher gifts. Because we've shown quite a bit. Alright, so... And maybe even give them the candy so they could kind of refill it themselves. All right, some, uh, let's do some Skittles. We love some Skittles for sure. Yes, I love hearts. Give me some hearts if you love all of these. Zoe, Grace, did Grace literally fall over over there? Okay, Skittles on a Wednesday, M&Ms on a Friday. Okay, let's make sure it's open enough. <laughs> Wine or mini bottles of liquor, right? Y'all know after they have our kids, they need some liquor sometimes. Okay, let's put that back in here. Looks like I get to have these. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mommy approved, okay. We're gonna change it up, come over here on a Monday. Oops, those fell out, those are mine. Y'all want some? Skittles. I do. Here. Now make sure they fit. We don't want them popping off. Look at your hands. What is on all your hands? The rock. Okay. So we still need Tuesday. Still need Thursday. So I'm opening them and then some of them are closing. So we've got a few more here, you guys. Well, they're not gonna get nothing on Sunday. Hopefully they're not at work on a Sunday, but they can get double treats on Mondays. All right, so we already have the Skittles. Now we're going to put some Starburst. Hopefully the Starburst will fit. Zane, can you turn that down, babe? Let's 
see how many Starbursts we can fit. Hi, Brandy. Okay, we can give them some Starburst over here. If you're just hopping on, these are back to school teacher DIY gifts. My kids go to school in three weeks. So I'll be coming on San Antonio Living tomorrow um, between 10 and 11. And uh, that is on channel four locally. Sometimes we go behind the scenes so that y'all could see all the behind the scenes shenanigans with the hosts and stuff. So there's the three. Looks like we were able to fit three there. And now we're gonna fit three over here on Wednesday. Thank you, Kara. I love it too. I'm wearing the earrings that, um, that I'm gonna take some of these out. That Kenna got me, because I feel like it's not closing. Okay, there we go. Oops, some more M&Ms fell out, kids. Here you go. There's some more M&Ms. Those fell out, because they weren't fitting. Oh, Skittles. All right, so we're gonna put these back. Now we're going to put some Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls. Uh, Sandra, I don't think she's coming with me. I haven't asked her. I did talk to her earlier because we were talking about our flight to Louisiana and stuff. So, so it looks like we fit Tootsie Roll, two Tootsie Rolls in there. My mom loves Tootsie Rolls. When the kids go get candy for Halloween, she's like, all right, fork it over. Give me all your Tootsie Rolls. This is a hold up. <laughs> okay, we've got m and M, Skittles, Starburst, Tootsie Rolls. Now we're gonna put some dots. Oh, we already did some Jolly Ranchers. Hi Billy, how are you doing? All right, let's open up these dots. I love dots. Okay. So we're gonna put some dots on a Tuesday in the morning. So there's that. And then we'll put some on a Sunday. get kind of stuck Luna's just waiting for me to drop candy on the floor okay now we've got two more and we're gonna put some hot tamales in there I love hot tamales you guys my favorite candy ever next to Snickers and did you know you used to only be able to get hot tamales at the movie theaters? I'm so glad you could get them at the stores now. All right, let's put some hot tamales in here. All right, these will be mine. Close that up and then hot tamales on a Sunday. All right, you guys. I'm gonna hit, eat some hot tamales here. Glor um, Zoe, there's some Skittles right there. You don't like Skittles? Where's Skittles? Right there. So, you see all the different candies? Hot tamales. So each candy is on each side. And then we got Jolly Ranchers. Tootsie Rose, Starburst, Danielle, if she's a diabetic, I'm sure she has friends that would love it. M&M's, um, oh, there's an M&M that I don't like in there. Oh, that's not my problem, I'm gonna stick my hand in there. <laughs> there's a Skittles. 
and then we got some dots. So whatever's on one side is on the other, okay? And we're gonna put a little bow on it. Guys, these are great gifts for kids too, maybe. I don't know if the teachers can give gifts, but um, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollar gift because you bought seven candies plus the pill organizers, another buck. So the Dollar Tree, eight dollar gift, and they will think it's a super cute idea. Go ahead and give them the candy so they can replenish it throughout the year. Um, and then if you want to add a bow on it, add a bow, and that's another. You get three bows for a dollar, so that's like what, 30 something cents? There we go. Ta da! And your kid is now the teacher's favorite. Yeah, Jamily, it was hard to get all wrapped candy from, from the Dollar Tree, but you can definitely get all wrapped candy. But y'all saw it live here. I didn't touch none of the candy with my hands. And then just make sure it's closed. And you can even put this in the gift basket as well, okay? So let me get these hot tamales. These are mine. I'm so gonna eat them right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep what? Oh, see my kids want all the candy. Go ahead and take them then. Here. Don't eat them all today. Here, huh? No, here, just take them off. The kids are like eyeballing the candy already. Okay. Zane, turn that down, please. Um, so we got that gift. I don't know, Linda. I'm just doing a bunch of gifts for TV. And, uh, oh, this needs tape. I'll maybe have the kids give one to the principal or something. I mean, heck, the attendance lady needs a survival kit. Go ahead and give me some tape, baby. No, one that has a thing so I could tear it. All right, so next up, we've got this guy here. So this is an organizer with the lid. I'll put some tape to hold this a little better. <clears throat> All right, so there's that. So you could actually put the heart candy in here, okay? Yep. Very true, Reese. I know diabetics that need that extra kick of sugar sometimes when their numbers are low. Or good to have for the kid, the teachers for kids that might be diabetic, you know, in class. Who knows? All right, so this has a lid. You can definitely put hard candies in there, fill it up. So that would be three bags of hard candies plus this. That's a $4 gift. Put a little bow on it. That makes it five bucks, okay? But we are going to put things that the teacher could definitely use. So we're going to put some big old paper clips. I love these paper clips. Put those in there. We are going to put some push pins. Oops, I'm not patient for that. Let's just cut it open. And then some paper clips. Teacher can always use a thousand paper clips. Ta da! Put that over. Um, put some tape on the ends. That way, when your kid takes it, they don't drop it. Just put some tape. See guys, you don't have to spend a lot of money. That's why you watch me and I give you some ideas and you figure out which one is cheapest for you. I think this one's super cute. This is another great idea that does not cost a lot of money. 
and it goes a long way they could always use those products and then put a bow on it and it's good to go let's see hold on here we go here we go any day now i'll take this off let's see hold on there we go peel off backing press firmly on package well here we go awesome and they can take the little ribbon off we'll just put some tape to just hold it in place all right there we go So we've got one, two, two gifts, and then let's see what else do we have. You can even wrap notebooks up, you guys. Give them in a stash like that, and just say, "Here you go. Bless the kids." Tie a ribbon around it. Um, Maybe put some crayons there. I don't know if we can put some. Yeah, why not? <laughs> and give it to them like this. Okay. Or just put the bounty and the Crayola over. All right, let's go ahead and put a bow on this one. I might have a teacher ribbon, okay? So give me a second. Okay, so look at all those notebooks. And then we got one 200 wide rolled, okay? So Dollar Tree has a 200 wide rolled and the 150 wide rolled. For a dollar, get the 200. Okay, let me get some ribbon. I might have one that has teacher print on it. Okay, ribbon so we're gonna make a ribbon out of all of these but first we need to wrap this I don't think I have thick ribbon let's see We're just going to keep going around and around and then we're going to crisscross on the top. Hey, y'all behave. Hey Barbie, how are you doing? See, and even the twines from the Dollar Tree, you guys. I'm trying to keep it tight. I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna go under. Because now I'm gonna try to come up top here. Oh, we don't want my hair in there. Oh no, that's not my, oh yeah it is, okay. Barbie, congratulations. Whoa, Grace is like, wow, mom. Grace is like, I could use that. 
Okay, what do y'all think? All right, here we go. Now we're gonna attempt to try to tie all of this into place and then we'll make a pretty bow. So this part doesn't matter because, okay, so um, you can either do this with the twine and then just put a bow over, or if you can make bows, you can totally make your own bow. So I'm going to make a bow really quickly and we'll put it on top. For those just hopping on, we are making teacher DIY gifts for back to school. So you'll see these tomorrow on local TV, channel four, on San Antonio Living. I'll be on there between 10 and 11. Oh, doesn't that match cute? Can you put this away, baby? Okay, so now we're gonna put a bow on top of this stack of books here. Notebooks and composition books and some loose notebook paper. Gotta have a pretty bow if it's coming for me, right? Okay, so there's that. Let me get the other ribbon. I'll try to put my ribbon away as I'm opening them up. <clears throat> And now we're gonna go with this ribbon on the bottom. If y'all have any questions, let me know, you guys. You can get everything at Dollar Tree with the exception of this ribbon that I'm showing you now. I didn't even check if they had ribbon. I think they do have ribbon at Dollar Tree. They have like a burlap ribbon. Might be a little um, cheaper, not canvas, but it's still good. If you love all these gifts, let me know. Hit that heart button. The kids helped me pick out the gifts too, so they were excited to go. They're like, yay, mama. Okay. Oh, they do, Barbie? I didn't even notice. I know they have the fall florals, but I didn't really check. Yes, they do have flex tubing. So look at that, you guys. Look how pretty that is. And then we'll fix the bow in just a moment. We're gonna fish that pipe cleaner through. And we're just gonna twist tie it in there. Make sure not to cut the string that's holding the books together. Okay, so let's go ahead and dovetail all these ends so they look pretty and then we'll organize all our ribbons and adjust them.
right, so let me adjust all these books because they're kind of sliding out of place. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten books or paper or composition. Um, plus you get the twine, that's 11. And then you can totally get the bows from the Dollar Tree if you don't have ribbon like this. They have bows like this. They come three to a pack and just hot glue that on there. Or if you want to use ribbon from there, you can definitely use ribbon from there. Um, I use a total of two, two and a half inch ribbon and then one, one and a half inch. So now I'm just going to move all these tails everywhere. And there we have it, you guys. Look how cute that is. Didn't take much. And we made the bow by hand. We can fuss with these tails all day long. I know I can. <laughs> I'm just trying to, let me see. Yeah, move them all over the place. How do y'all like this one? This one's cute. How pretty is that? Okay, we're moving that one to the side. Now we are left with one paper towel and one crayon. So we ain't gonna let it go to waste. We are gonna wrap it with twine and do something with it. Whoopsie. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, Teresa. Pretty ribbon, huh? All right, so. We're just gonna keep wrapping this all the way around. You can even put some, some of that on there and then some of that. How about that? Some pencils and crayons and we'll do that. Did you get scissors? No, I didn't get scissors. I have scissors here. Did you need scissors? Oh, no. No. So you can already see that this is a $3 item and then if you get the twine and add a bow on it, four bucks and they will appreciate this little gift, quick gift. I'm gonna put this in the back and then put a bow in the front. <clears throat> right here good to go or up on top yep we'll do it on top let me see if I have another one I got a blue one oops that totally jumped off the table <laughs> Luna's like what uh look what she has <laughs> Luna went and found a pumpkin and she spit it out as soon as she saw me like she's like uh oh glamour busted me I don't like when Glamour gets me, gets in trouble with me. Okay, here we go. So, oh, you know what? I do need that piece of tape. Can you give me a little piece of that tape? Uh, it's in this one. Ha, ha, ha. No, 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 no. It's going to drop stuff. Don't do that. Put it, okay. Let's see. All 
All right, so I'm gonna cut a little piece really quickly. Luna Baluna, right? Put this on top. Here we go. And there you have a cool gift. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you what we've worked on so far. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way and give me a moment and I will come back and show you. Okay. Whew, it is hot in here. Uh, Carol, we are, we still need to call and see how much the surgery is going to be because we've been quoted a thousand, but some, um, other people told us that the same surgery for their dog costs between three to 500. So we haven't gotten around to calling around because we've been like really busy, but yeah. So they did get some donations, but for the most part, it's going to have to come out of our pockets. Um... Plus they have their money from the pump guys too. All right, so let me show you the gifts that we've got going on here. Okay, so first up is, you can even add a bow to this basket, you guys. Here is the care package for the, uh, for your, your kid's teacher. So we've got some paper towels, markers, um, tablets, crayons, hand sanitizer, spray, wipes, tissue, um, some scented beads, Zane, um, some rulers, we've even got some award certificates back here that they can give to their kids, and you put it all in a basket from the Dollar Tree with the paper tissue, tissue paper, okay, so there's one, look at all that goodie. So let me see how much is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gotta have that massager. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So this is about 25 bucks, you guys. All right, so it goes a long way and the teacher will greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, we've got this cool, simple gift that has all the necessities that a teacher uses. So paper clips. Um, the larger paper clips, y'all can see it there, and then push pins, and you get a bow, tape it on there, and say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> and this was about one, two, three, four, five bucks. Less than five dollars, because you get three of these in a set, okay? Little gift goes a long way. And then here is a teacher survival kit, which has a bunch of candies. So we put the candy on each side for the PM and the AM. So there's uh, so there is seven total candies because you got to fill up each one. So you get the pill dispenser plus the candies, which is seven plus a dollar is eight, and then this. So it's less than eight bucks again because you get three of these bows in one for a dollar, and then give them the candy bags or boxes that you get for them, and so they can replenish throughout the year. All right. So somebody mentioned this is good for teachers that might be diabetic and might need a um, a shot of sugar throughout the day or even a kid in class might need a shot of sugar because um, they're um, you know I don't know what you call it guys when you're a diabetic but your numbers might be low um, or if you give this to a teacher that is diabetic they can't have all this candy they can give it to their teacher friends all right so here's another gift and then we just did this one with a simple paper towel and some pencils and some crayons and we just wrap twine around and we put a bow on it so this is uh, three about four bucks okay goes a long way and what else did we do oh we did water jugs teacher always needs water when they're out at recess we plugged them up with a little bit of you know, crinkle cut paper that you can find at the Dollar Tree, some highlighters, pens and pencils. We wrap some twine and some scrap fabric and there we go. They can even keep it in here, not even use it as a water jug and just pull out what they need. Okay, so I totally love this. If you do like paper crafts or vinyl cutting and stuff, 
You can even put their name on here or whatever, or if you know how to do hand lettering, get you some metallic markers and write the teacher's name. I don't do that. <laughs> this is about as good as it gets. And then here's another option. So two cups, one size is bigger than the other, um, and two great ideas. So this one's just got pens and red, um, pencils and red pens in it, okay? And then we have this smaller option. And I love that it has handles on the side as well. And it's got some of the, uh, it's got some hand soap, the air freshener beads, some crayons, some markers, some pencil pockets, post-it notes. It's got some paper and composition book. And then it has the hand sanitizer and the wipes. And then we just put some of these little curly stuff on top. I should glue that. And you can just give it to the teacher like that, okay? Actually, I think this one was on here. Let me tape that while I'm here. Okay, now it's taped. So this one's good to go. Whoop dee dee da. All right, and if you thought that wasn't enough, Here's a bunch of notebooks and paper and composition book put together with twine and then we added a real pretty bow on top. So when Zoe goes to school, she's gonna be the prettiest little girl with this whole chunk of <laughs> notebooks and a real pretty bow, okay? Yes, the basket does need a bow, I agree. So again, guys, all of these uh, gifts, is this coming off, oh no. All of these gifts go a long way for the teacher. They, um, I'm sure they appreciate it. They take care of our snotty kids all day. I do not know how they put up with 20 something kids. I could not imagine. And on top of that, they have to uh, supply out of their own pocket, which is not fair. So any little things like this go a long way. Even if you just invest in 10 bucks and you know 30 minutes of your time um, shopping and putting it together with your kid, your kid will get really excited shopping at the Dollar Tree, okay? especially if you tell them, yes, you can get one little gift for yourself, all right? So hopefully you like all these gifts. You will see them again tomorrow on San Antonio Living between 10 and 11. I will be on channel four, and we might have behind the scenes, depending if one of the girls goes with me, probably Glory, and they will be filming. Okay, so we will catch you then. Bye, guys.